Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Great Heights and Barely Controlled Chaos. And we're going to talk safety for a minute or two. Um, have an accident so don't worry about that part but we're going to talk safety for a minute because I think it's important <clears throat> small farms small homesteads whatever you want to call us um, sometimes you cut corners and cutting corners is okay as long as you are careful about it and I do mean be careful about it um, so what are we talking about this afternoon let me move outside to the sun this afternoon uh, I'm going to go be picking up some hay for our goats, um, which means I'm going to put it in, I'll be putting it in the truck, but when I get back home, I'm, I'm going to use the tractor and the bale spike to put it on, or to put it where I want it out here, out in the pasture, because I'm not going to take the truck out there. So I bring this up, because normally I use our mower deck as rear end ballast for the tractor. Um, it weighs... A lot um, probably not as much as I should have but it weighs a lot the bale spike on the other hand weighs almost nothing and I can tell the difference I just drove it from up there up near the um, about halfway up the hill to down here and I can tell the difference in how the tractor behaves so and then I'm gonna put about a thousand pounds of hay on this bale spike and I'm going to start having front end ballast problems. So I'm going to load the, the loader up with rocks. Again, not as much as I probably should have, but more than, I, more than nothing up here. So between the loader and some rocks, hopefully we can balance this out. So it's important to think about things like that. The other thing to think about is um, proper tire inflation. And because you're going to be putting a lot of weight on the tires, you want to make sure that they're inflated properly, that they've got enough pressure to handle that weight. Um, and that is very important as well, because otherwise it's really smushy and prevents roll. <laughs> and otherwise, if it's smushy like that, you can actually end up in a rollover situation, which you absolutely do not want. As you can tell, because I'm reaching inside the tractor, I've got these tires turned around so that the wheelbase is actually wider. It's not a ton wider with the wheelbase like this, but it's wide enough that it makes a difference to the track to the t tractor stability. Everything you can do to add to your tractor stability, good idea. That's especially true on wider ter or on hillier terrains like we have here, making sure that you've got these the widest wheelbase possible is a really good idea. That would be better if I was using ballast in these tires, uh, liquid ballast, but I have not done that yet. It's something that's in the future. I am far from an expert on this. Who is an expert, or at least knows a lot more than I do? Goodworks Tractors, and I will put a link up here in the video to, to one of his videos that talk talk specifically about tractor ballast and all the options you can do there's wheel weights there's uh, wheel extenders there's things that you can hook on the back um, multiple things you can hook on the back to add ballast to your tractor and it's absolutely worth it to prevent something bad from happening you never want to get in a situation where you're you know doing one of these or doing one of these bad 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 things all right so yeah Definitely want to take time to air your tires, take time to <clears throat> to check your tractor mechanics. Other thing that's important is making sure you're taking it slow. Um, there's always the the temptation to hurry up and get a job done. Don't rush. 
especially in tippy situations, especially as I'm saying, I'm about to put a thousand pound bale of hay on here, probably more than a thousand pounds uh, bale of hay on the back of this thing. And then I'm gonna go back into our pasture, which is super hilly, and put it right underneath this pine tree, or the cedar tree right there. And I don't wanna, you know, take a chance and tip the tractor over or, you know, spin or lose control. So taking your time, super important to think about that. Make sure, like I said, make sure your mechanics are working properly. If I get on the tractor and I put the, and I back up into the hay bale and I go to lift this, lift it with the spikes, lift the, the peat, uh, lift the three point hitch and it's not lifting right, I'm gonna stop right there um, because I don't wanna screw something up and then certainly not worth doing that. It's, I'd rather have the hay sit out here for a day or so while I go get figure out what's wrong with the hydraulics if I need to do that then accidentally roll the tractor be over here so yeah as I was saying safety so my daughter and I Katie and I went to go get it so obviously go in pairs two people at least you know do things the neighbors around here are pretty friendly but you never know when you're going to pull up on somebody's farm. The other thing is um, make sure that you, when you're doing stuff like this, I'm about to pick this giant roll of hay up with that tractor after we roll it out of the back of the truck. You, so you want to make sure that you have a spotter. You make sure that somebody can, is there to watch and make sure that if the tractor starts to roll or something, that they're there to keep you, give you an eye or let you know that it's about to roll. All right, so it's the next day. This hay bale is still here. And we're gonna talk about this because I was talking about safety. I'm gonna to continue to talk about safety. Um, we attempted, we got the, um, the tractor over here, put, it, put the, hay, the bale spikes right up against it and <clears throat> or put it right into it and tried to lift it. Okay, so I knew there was, it was a little, little low on hydraulic fluid. We tried to lift it yesterday, no go, right? So it went out and got more hydraulic fluid for it, ran it through the cycle a bunch of times to make sure everything was good, um, and put it back on the, the hay thing, or put it back on the bale and tried to lift it, no go. It lifted a little bit further, but I think it weighs more than I was expecting. Um, we were told about 1,100 pounds. The tractor's rated for 13 to, you know, 1,300 pounds or so. So we were, we were in that margin, but I'm suspecting this is more like 15. Whatever. Doesn't make any difference. Problem is, our tractor can't lift it. Safety-wise, we could have, you know, maybe dragged it a little bit or, you know, tried to roll it with the tractor. Um, and we've looked at some other options. Best option, my neighbor has a bigger tractor. He's not home at the moment. But when he does get home, I will go over and bug him and ask him if he can move this bale for us. Because, like I said, he's got a bigger tractor. He can handle it. My little tractor is just not going to do it. I could possibly break my tractor trying to move it. I could probably break one of us trying to move it. And that's just not worth it. The bale can sit here for a day or two if we need it to. Um, and we'll figure something out. I would re much rather go that route than have somebody get hurt or break some equipment because I was trying to rush th through things and get it done. This is a great, we got a great deal on this hay, um, considering what hay is going for this year, and I'm willing to let it sit here for a day or two because it's worth doing that versus somebody getting hurt. So keep that in mind when you're doing things. I was talking yesterday about, you know, being safe and, you know, thinking things through and not trying to rush things. Again, think those things through. Try not to get hurt. It's so easy to do that kind of stuff, um, to get hurt, to, uh, to, you know, just, oh, I can manage this. I can do this. And while we're out here on our own, there are people around. There are other humans around that can help you out. Neighbors, friends, somebody's gotta have a tractor bigger than yours if that's the case. Somebody's gotta got a pick, pickup truck you can borrow, something. Whatever it is you need, I guarantee there's people out there that might help you to do this. 
and it is far better to take the time to find those people to cultivate those relationships with people and not get hurt our next door neighbor he's a great guy he really is comes over here checks on us once in a while he knows we're a bunch of city slickers trying to make this work and you know I'm sure he laughs it goes home and laughs at us and that's okay I'm okay with that he goes home and laughs at us good for him because um, I got it done and that's what take that's what it takes so anyway that's all I had to say I just really want to make sure that people are taking the time to think about these things before they get started before you get started because yeah, we went and got this hay yesterday. We got there. Now, my daughter, whose truck we took yesterday, she was right sitting there, has a short bed truck. And we put the hay bale in there. It didn't weigh the truck down too much, so I wasn't too worried about it. But when we got home, I looked at it, because just, he just loaded it in and we drove off after we paid him. Um, I didn't look at it, but when I looked at it once we got home, it's that hay bale is as big as this... The, the bed it took up the whole bed um, so it's not it's not a small hay bale but we got home and I was like yeah I'm pretty confident we can pull it out and it was rough so we had to be extra careful getting it out of the truck we had to be extra careful you know getting it home all that good fun stuff and so you just gotta you gotta think about that just just think about it when you're when you're doing stuff, just think about, take a second, take a few minutes and go, okay, safety-wise, does this make sense? All right, so that's it. That's it for me today. Um, I appreciate you guys really, really, really do, the people that watch every, every week and when I put these videos out. Um, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoy these videos, please make sure you share them with your friends. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. That tells us that we're doing a good job don't like what we're doing, just thumbs down. I'm perfectly okay with that too. And we'll talk to you next time.